Hi, welcome back to Tuesday Talks. Uh, we're at episode 5. I'm just going to get you right into it. Back, We're going to be talking about Blake Colony again. Here we have Wasp Claw. He is the last dweller that I didn't get to. Uh, he marks the 16th member of the colony. Love his design. He is the youngest one of all the dwellers, and he's a lot like closer to the age of all of the novices. Um, so he's definitely, like, the youngest, and maybe a weird in between the generations, not exactly, um, in one or the other, just kind of that in-between outlier. He's very cool. I also meant to draw him with one eye, because he only has one working eye, um, and then I drew him with both, and I forgot that until I looked back at uh, here we have Scale, who is Wave's sister. Scale is like a minor antagonist. She's um, def definitely this like distant and sassy. I think she gives a lot of like Ivy Pool vibes. Um, I have no other way of just describing it. Like she kind of falls into a bad crowd really early because of her mentor who is um, Acorn Flank, and I talked about him last time being bad. Uh, here's Wave, our protagonist. There's not. I talked about her a lot already in her um, standalone episode, the first episode. Um, so there's not a lot to mention that I haven't already said. She's cool, though. I like her design. I think it's simple and sweet. Um... I'll just start talking about the next one, Olive. He is the first of three kits that belong to Sageleaf and Cloversight. Um, he is apprenticed to Lizard Scorch and is definitely really this like uncontrollable force. He gets underfoot all the time. That, that's his main existence, is no one wants to go, like, patrolling or hunting with him of the other novices, because he just will run in front of them, or he's the one who would give you a flat tire in your shoes. That That's that's how I had to describe him. Whether it be accidentally or not, he would definitely do it. Um, Nettle, his sister, looks a lot like her mom. Uh, she is really close to her brothers, particularly with Nettle, or with Olive. Uh, Nettle and Olive are really sweet together. Uh, she always tries to act uh, beyond her age, very wise, very much following in her mother's footsteps. And she is uh, kind of also a crybaby, not good at things. Now we have Rowan. He is very intelligent. He um, is often kind of reminded not to get ahead of your, of himself because he's just so good at everything he does. Uh, he is Daisy Berry's apprentice, and Nettle was Wasp Claws, which is really interesting because Wasp Claws, as I said, very young but already has um, like a, a novice right off the bat. Uh, Rowan does, I know, end up becoming very close with Scale, and is also kind of like a minor antagonist. Now we have Plum. Plum is the daughter of Silver Snake, as you can see I reference her in the corner while putting together the design. Um, her father is not another cat in the colony. Don't be mistaken when I draw a different one. They have, they have very similar color eyes, but they are not family. She is the daughter of a rogue named Pewter, and nobody else really knows this, uh, except obviously her mom. And it's kind of just hushed over that it's someone else. Now here is Squirrel Hop. She is um, one of the two moms of the colony, um, though she does become very quickly a dweller again because her kits are already three months old. 
I like her design because I don't think we see enough, like, ginger and gray cats. Um, so her design is really cool to me, but personality-wise, she's kind of pretty close to Fish Fang. Um, she loves drama. She's the one who would always, like, gossip if she could. Um, and she has kit- four little kits with a corn flank. Uh, first of which will become Stork. Because they're only th three months old and they're not named. I obviously wrote down at least the first part of the name right here to keep track of. Stork is, um... He's grumpy and hyper, he switches through his moods a lot, and he has, um, a very nice, like, chaotic swagger <laughs> about him. Uh, <laughs> next is his brother, Heron, who is- he's this tired little boy that- becomes very easily manipulated by his father which is a little sad because he has no idea that he's becoming complicit in a bunch of things that he might have not even ever had to deal with before um, other than that I think that he tries really hard to impress his dad because he just became very quickly that shadow. Next, we have their only sister, Holly. Holly is... She's really... I describe her in my notes as cute um, in a mischievous way. And because she is really small um, and not really a thick cat... Uh, but very fluffy. She can just hide underneath other cats and just blend in <laughs> um, For the most part, but I mean her pelt is a lot different than most cats in the colony But she can hide and it's very amusing to me next we have the last cat of that litter fennel He is love. He is Like a lot like his mother. He loves his mom he is all for that drama and rumors and every he waits to hear all of the tea all the time he just that's the most exciting thing is when older cats come by and they're like oh we saw this and this and this and he's like really um he he's the one who of the siblings that is like conjoined at the hip with his mom while Heron is conjoined at the hip with his father. Now we have Gorse Tangle. She's the second mother. She only has one kit um, with a uh, minnow spiral. And I absolutely love her design. Her designs remind me vaguely of the vibe that. Um, Oh god, what's the, that Frecklewish map? Maggot Belly. I don't know why, I just had done her designs and was like, yeah, that reminds me of that. I think it's the swoops and the ears, just all together. It looks very nice like that. Um, and she's quiet and never shares her opinion. Um, now her son, Goose. Uh, he is very different from his father, despite looking very similar. He is afraid of water. He is a huge baby. He very luckily was born during uh, the beginning of winter, so he'll be much older and have plenty of time to get used to being around water, even though it's frozen. Uh, and he's very easily embarrassed by everything. Now we have Lilac Fire, who is Fish Fang's brother. Uh, he is very sickly, uh, and he's the only retiree of the colony. He's the only one that's in the side. 
Um, he is the cat that everyone kind of assumes is Plum's father because he also has this like purplish blue colored eyes, but um, that was just a coincidence. And I completely forgot his eyes are supposed to be scarred over. Didn't he, I forgot to draw that in, which is that's on me. <laughs> that, that that's my bad. Um. Anyways, this is the whole colony. That's all thirty cats. It's huge. I completely intend to try to go through the other two colonies soon. Maybe after doing the individual uh, character pages. I know that Dark Colony has 16 cats. And Sky Colony has 19. So I'll probably do both of those in one. Which will be a little bit more difficult. And yeah. Um, next week... I'm just going to be doing like an overview video and talk about stuff in general. So thanks for watching.